Hey, Sneaky Linux back again tonight. We're back tonight with Linux Mint 13 Maya, but this is XFCE. Now, it's going to be a short video because I've done Linux Mint 13 before, and Sneaky Wife uses it on her computer with Mate, I think. Yeah, she's got Mate using on hers. She might want to change this, I don't know. Now, it uses, and we'll go to the menu. So, well, actually, I don't need to do that. I'll just click on the panel and go to About using XFCE 4.10.0. Hunkily of the Dory, so latest and greatest. Now, as you can see from a lot of other distros, it's not actually using a little panel down here. A little quick start panel, it's using the traditional panel. But hey, one problem is it still has the same problem of when you double click your home folder, okay, it takes an awful long while to come up. Now, I've got the fix for that. If anybody of you, everybody wants it, I've got that. It's just a really quick command and it sorts it all hunkily dory, so no big deal. So, anyway, we're going to quickly, quickly, quickly go through it with you time ethernet connection it's installed i've updated the system there was about 249 updates to do also here we have our volume so that's all done up and full go to our places and then minimize all open windows and show desktop okay that's enough and you just get home and file system you can add more also if i right click desktop and go to the desktop properties or desktop settings should i say you get quite a few other wallpapers here although some are not very good quality and others are if you know what i'm saying yeah, you know what i'm saying well, of course you know what i'm saying because i'm saying it so i go to ancient that's quite a good one but there's one i found down here that was quite good if i go away to the valley i thought that was terrible quality and should be ripped from it straight away i mean i know it's the size of it but it just doesn't look right to me personally i mean look at it, the sky it just doesn't look right but hey that's one little rant out of the way isn't it so we'll, we'll go back to this one the 13 million dollars we go to that one with Maya on the end. We'll go back to Maya. Don't forget you can adjust your brightness and saturation from here. Adjust all your menus and your icons. Okay. So we can put our waste basket in as well if we want to. Which is rubbish bin. Thank you very much, guys. So yeah, that's all done. Anyway, being XFCE, it's really usable and lovely and super. Run program, terminal emulator, file manager, web browser, the software manager, which I'll come to in a setting in a second, should I say. Under settings, loads of stuff, as it's XFCE. Now, if you've never used it before, you should know it is really configurable. Don't just, don't put off using it because you don't think it's going to look any different. You can do, make me do whatever you want with it, really. If we go to our settings manager, you'll see what I mean. Appearance, desktop, file manager, screensaver, preferred applications, panel, kill humans, windows manager, windows tweets, workspaces, display, kill all humans, keyboard, mouse touch pad, removal drives, power manager, accessibility, MIME type editor, hey, you want to go and kill all humans? Session startup and settings editor. That's all done. Okay, so that's that. Lots of stuff for you to play around with. Under accessories. It's usual stuff, more added on basically, because it's mint basically at the end of the day. You get a screenshot task manager, I'll open it up and we can see what we're running, which is nice and nicey. I'm using 7-8% or 4% of my CPU now, and 14% of my memory, which works out about, about, about ooh, 200 megabytes it's using, maybe less. Well actually, yeah, quite a bit less. And the CPU is a dual core, it's not doing anything. So we can quit that and say goodbye to you later, thank you very much. Under graphics, you get a document viewer and Gimpy. Right, I was a bit upset about this. You only get Gimpy 2.6. Yes, I was expecting 2.8. But hey ho, Sooty and Co. Do you want to go and kill all humans? Yeah. One of those things, isn't it, really? So, anyway, that's enough of graphics for you. LibreOffice is full suite. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And Internet, Firefox is your browser of choice with Pigeon, Chunderbird, Transmission, and XChat. That doesn't mean it's for porn, by the way. So, we have enough Firefox. Dun, 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 dun. A bit quick drinking, hang on. Ooh. That's pretty nice and quick, wasn't it? As you can see, Friday the 29th, the next month, my XFC release candidate released. And I'm glad it's a release candidate because it doesn't actually film the screen. No. That's what I mean. It don't do what I want it to do. So that needs to be sorted. I'm glad it's just a release candidate. Thank you very much. You do not get Google as a choice for your search engine because they've done a deal with yahoo and i don't really personally like yahoo so i've changed this to go so we can go to youtube well, i'll search youtube anyway let me go there and we we'll go there and we'll put me in just to make sure the videos are going to play which they will okay they will because it's all by default in mint as you know if a security warning yeah 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 
Yeah, I'm a security one. And uh, kill all humans. Anyway, this is the last video I've done. Let's see if it plays. Five, four, three, two, one. Of course it's going to play. Everything is biased. This default. It's defaultage, isn't it? Yeah. Bye. That's enough like that. Anyway, multimedia. Banshee is not my favourite player, but it does the business. If you like it, fine. If you don't, install another one. Easy as pie. Brazier for burning. No men player. A mixer for you mixing the stuff. A movie player, sound recorder, and VLC. Under office, as you can see, the full LibreOffice suite. Under system, loads of stuff. Do your firewall, the main blocker. I've shown you that loads of time. I'm not going to do it again. Also, we have Synaptic here as well, okay? So we're going to open up the software manager. Now, talking of Gimpage, now I use it quite a bit. It's just doing photographs, basically. Not about what you use it for, but hey. So if I type in Gimp up here, on enter now as you can see we've got gimpy here now if you use gimp please 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 add on all the add-ons so you can get all the extras for it so the animation package extra brushes and if you go to somewhere uh, well, a site that we can get extra brushes for adobe so you can convert photoshop brushes to gimpage oh yeah nicey nicey and you've got all your dc raw stuff for doing raw digital photographs all does it out of the tin just if you're using Gimpage a lot, add it all. Just add it all and you'll find your experience of using Gimp will be a lot easier. Yeah, that's enough of it. It's more Gimp than anything, isn't it? Anyway, back to system again. There's not much to show you. Upload manager, update manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. All lovely. Lock screen and log out. Now, it seems to work rather nice. I'm going to give it another day or so. Enough said, really. That's why it's a short video. Sneaky Linux out. Oh, did I forget? It's 88%. Do you want to come kill all humans? Sneak Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.